All right, so got a couple extra parts for this little Gimitsu Prover. Prover? I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, it's a little mini CNC, desktop CNC. So I got uh, an extension for the bed. So it's going to make the Y axis, I think, like 14 inches. So got these parts over here. And I also ordered a uh, MDF spoil board that will fit on top of that and replace the piece of aluminum on there. And we got a laser module for laser engraving. So it's going to take some time, but we're going to start with the bed extension, which means we got to disassemble all of this crap. So this is going to take some time. Gantry's completely out of the way. That's much better anyway. Just follow the friggin' instructions, all right? So, let me set these over here so there's no confusion. And what goes where. You gotta pay attention because these little T-nuts are still in this rail, so we don't wanna lose those. Lefty, tidy, righty, loosey, right? Correct? What? What? No. Lefty, righty, tidy, loosey? What? Jesus Christ. We'll just keep turning these in directions until they go loose. So all I've done there is loosen the screws connecting the rear rail to the uh, side rail extrusions. These right here. And then we'll uh, loosen the set screws here. So, I showed you earlier two set screws on either side of this. Now, these set screws nearest to the stepper motor are connected to the shaft of the stepper motor. So we don't really necessarily need to remove those right now. So we're just removing this front one and this front one to uh, free the lead screw. You don't want to take those all the way out. It's not necessary. It just makes it all the more likely that you're going to lose them. You just want to loosen them enough to get the lead screw out and leave them in place otherwise. is wanting to turn. There we go. Alright, so we got the front plate off. Set these screws over here with that. off of here and then we will remove this all right it's our rear panel front panel this is our old bed and we'll probably remove these in a few these are our old side panels, and uh, I'm going to take these T-nuts out of here. The smaller ones go with the panels over there. Just 
Big room to deal with the gantry. So we do need to attach these larger extrusions. Sorry, longer extrusions. The longer uh, linear rails to the back panel. Longer linear rails, longer extrusions, as you can see, pretty significant increase in the length of the Y axis. So that will definitely open up our options for size of our materials that we're working. It's a really good opportunity to clean some of the crap off of this too. So we're just gonna put these screws back in place. So what I'm going to do is take these off. You just gotta screw it out. But you gotta watch this thing because there's a spring behind that copper plate and it's gonna come flying out. If you don't hold some tension on it. See? Yeah. Alright, take these off. Alright. So we're going to put this back on. In the correct orientation, and then a notch is facing toward the back on this thing. So I'm holding this compressed so that that spring doesn't go flying. And then we get it threaded in there and then we can come off a little bit. So this is the lead screw. And what this does is it attaches to the stepper motor and drives the spoil board or otherwise this plate. So that stepper motor will turn this lead screw, which will cause the bed to move forward and back along the Y axis. So this is like your main driver. So I'm just retightening these two set screws that we loosened earlier. I'm not putting a ton of torque on these. Just enough to make sure they're not coming loose. All right, that's on there. I have no idea what this is for. The manual says nothing about it. I'm gonna put them on there though just in case. And then uh, we can put our front panel on, I believe. Can slide these on there. After we've taken the rest of these screws out. These T-nuts are a little seized. We're gonna hold it here until we can get it loose. There we go. Very nice. So I don't know how much of this stuff you've got, but these T nuts, handy as hell. Don't ever get rid of them. If you use any kind of aluminum extrusion, um, railing for saw jigs, you know, T-channel, keep them. 
All right, so I'm gonna disassemble these, put the spoiler board on there. Basically, we're just gonna reverse the process we just did. So I won't bore you with that. So front panel goes back on, reconnect the wires, and uh, then we'll put the spoiler board on. Prime example of why we call this the idiot's approach. Now, these little T-nuts that go on the uh, acrylic plates that we took off earlier, you can put these in here um, from, from the front and they just spin. Now, these T-nuts that hold the gantry don't work that way. They have to slide in from the side. Well, guess what I already did? I tightened these plates down without putting them in place. So we're going to loosen this front plate again, plate again and put those back in and then replace the front plate. And uh, then I'll show you how to level this out or square it out. We'll be back. All right, so we got the spoil board on here. Got these secured. So the way you're going to get this lower assembly square, make sure you're on a flat surface, and then you're going to manually turn your set screw until you're all the way out. Now these should be loose before you do that. So once you get this all the way out and against, you're, you're going to be able to see that your guides are against this upper frame. Then you can tighten the rest of these down. Um, so you're going to get all of these tight. And then you're going to do the reverse. So you're going to manually move your spoil board all the way to the very back. And then you're going to tighten those set screws back there. That should get this relatively square.